inches long. That is the blade only. They're two and a half inches wide. They're very thin. They're six times sharper than the scalpel. But he did this. He walked up to the guy and he lowered the dagger softly, softly, right here, to where the ribs begin. And then once across, like butter. And then they reverted the dagger. Look, imagine these are the ribs. They barely insert the dagger under the rib cage. And as soon as the dagger has been inserted, they twist and push, they tunnel into the guy's heart eh, faster than a modern day surgeon. Now, how would we know that? Modern day surgery sustains that a heart detached fully may beat maximum 12 seconds. Maximum 12 seconds. So I want to tell you what a Spanish captain saw in Ruth in 1517. He says, the eagle knight lowered a second hand into the open wound of the warrior leg and pulled the heart of the man out to exhibit to the sun and to the masses as the heart was beating. So these guys were so quick, they could show the heart beating. That is the impacting part of the ceremony. The heart is still alive. And then to close the ritual, remember, the passion and the courage and the rage of that man are there. Mm -hmm. So these guys, to feel it, to sense it, they, mm -hmm. they share the heart of the man in public. This was done by five guys up there. Now, let me ask you something. <laughs> I see the face. <laughs> Come on, look. I ate worse things in my fraternity. I ate worse things in my fraternity. So <laughs> I have to eat a cockroach. I remember that. <laughs> look at it, and I can't, I can't get rid of it. Look out. <laughs> imagine. Imagine that happening in, up, up there now. Imagine five guys up there, four guys holding, a guy with a dagger, the heart pumping. Now, let me ask you this. Don't answer. Would we try to avoid paying them taxes? No, <laughs> probably not. See, I told you at the beginning, this is about power. It only means this could be you, civilian. That's all it means. See, these guys were powerful. And the guys on top of these were more powerful. And they hurt no one. They went up there alone. Ah, oh, these Mexican ladies, I'm sorry. That makes sense.